My parents were both in medicine. Uh, both of my parents were very interested in surgery, particularly my father, who did dental surgery his whole life. Uh, my mother's dream was to be a surgeon. And in our family, education was the absolutely most important thing for any child. That's something they can't take away from you. My parents were very encouraging, at least as far as getting an education is concerned. I think I always wanted to be a scientist. I can't remember not wanting to be one. My inspiration to be a scientist was science fiction. I thought we had gone to Mars already. I thought we had these magnificent laser weapons. Uh, I thought that robots were somewhere. They weren't in, in our house, maybe, but they existed. I was attracted to NRL not because it was a military laboratory, but because there was a good job offer here in a good area of science, and they seemed to really want me. And in 1972, it was not easy to find a job if you were a scientist. We design and develop computer codes to solve very complicated fluid dynamics problems. Now, these fluid dynamics problems range from flows in very, very tiny little channels, micro flows for sensors, to, to flows that occur, that really encompass the entire universe, such as stars blowing up or universes expanding. But it's all, in some ways, fluid dynamics. I didn't choose this area of science, it chose me. I was at NRL, this, the, we were developing these different fields, and it was just the, the way to go and the thing to do and the most interesting thing to do. So I don't really think that you choose science, it chooses you. How did you stay at the same place for 30 years? It's because the job has always been interesting, it's always changed, there's so much flexibility here in what I can do, and uh, the, the people are just wonderful to work with. My mentors were people from my college, from Bryn Mawr College. And there are people from NRL. There are many people from NRL. And people that I've met in, uh, professionally in the fields that I've worked in. The one thing I've learned is you can't have enough mentors. You can't have en talk to enough people. You can't get help from enough people. It's part of collaboration. It's part of working together. It's part of advancing something quickly forward. I think that my role as a mentor and my role as developing junior scientists is probably the most important role I have now. It will be my contribution to the future. When I need to relax, I'll take a long walk, pet my dog, try to organize a diving trip. I like the scuba dive. Um, take pictures. I like to take pictures. I could not do any of what I'm doing without the total support and help from my husband and my family. He is a complete support anytime I need him.